What's going on guys, Mike Dow Sarah back in another video. Today we actually have some breaking news. Hold on. Th this is groundbreaking I'm hearing. Let me turn it over to our other host, uh not not the uh creator of this video. Breaking news. Steelers offensive coordinator Matt Canada has been fired and it is expected that once the NFL and NCAA season have concluded, the Steelers will bring in current offensive coordinator at Miami of Ohio and former Steelers Hall of Fame quarterback Ben Roethlisberger for an interview to see if he's ready to reconnect with his former team and give the Steelers the proper fire under their ass that they fucking need. Sorry, got a little bit graphic there. Not my words though. Those are words from Ben Roethlisberger and Coach Mike Tomlin. Don't shoot the messenger, guys. I only report on what I hear. I'm sorry. Anyways, this has been your host with a quick studio update now back to your weekly regularly scheduled miami ohio red hawks dynasty back to you other one anyways guys sorry about that um i don't know where he came from he just kind of wandered in here but um good news matt canada has been fired which means every week is an audition for the Pittsburgh Steelers to see what we can do as an offense. Is that a good audition? Maybe. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to assess it, to be honest. But let's get right into this game, and I'll meet you down at the field in Ohio to verse the Ohio Bobcats. At least this game is not raining, so that already bodes good for our offense. Hopefully. Or it means that we're going to be struggling in the rain. Who knows? Or not the rain. I, I'm stupid. It's not raining. Clearly, I can see the sun. In Ohio. Although I still don't know if Ohio actually exists or not. N nice little countryside stadium. Lo love that little uh, little farm in the back. Gonna hand it off to Bester, who got injured last game, and our backup running back, technically a third stringer, came in, and was an absolute beast. So if I need to start getting fitted with Bester again. Or if I just feel like we can do better, look for him to come in and make some plays. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move him to second that way. When Bester gets tired, if he does, then uh, he'll come in instead of Shelton coming in. But it's also funny that every single one of our running backs are all the same overall. Yet, yeah. Bester has been so, like, decently good. He's been consistently mid. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll give him that. He's been consistently mid. And then Mosey comes in. And this. Oh my god. Baxter playing for his fucking starting job right now. Fucking going off. Offensive awesome. line's actually blocking. What is this team? Who is this team? We're like actually moving the ball? What the fuck? I mean, I guess we did get Akron, but like, Akron, you kind of expect. And there's Gabbard throwing what should have been an easy fucking pass. Like, I made sure to set the fucking feet and everything. And he still fucking couldn't even hit the fucking broadside of a fucking Martin if he fucking tried. <laughs> so, what we do? Fucking, this offensive line is actually run blocking today. Like, I got a little scary when I saw 75 just, like, leaving, le leaving this fucking assignment and just fucking coming back towards us. But it worked out. RB picked. I knew fucking, I, I should have known that was going to get fucking undercut. That's my bad. Solid. I, 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 yeah. Defense luckily gets a stop, so that's good. Gabbert starting one for three, with three yards and an interception. Just keep it on the fucking ground. Keep doing what? Okay, Bester just got fucking lit up for a one yard game. Right, let's just call a dive. Simple, easy. Hopefully the block set up well. I mean, they're, they're really not stacking the fucking box, so. 
offensive line really didn't fucking help him, but fucking Bester just kind of fucking wiggled his way through, looking like prime fucking Le'Veon Bell with all the fucking patience that he had. Bester again on third down. Guess it's the first. Let's go. Just feed your best players, no pun intended. Maybe a little bit intended, but regardless, just keep feeding them the fucking ball, bro. Another five yard gain. As long as we keep getting these like three to five yard gains, we're gonna get a first down every single time. Moses does step into the game. I'm actually, gonna flip this to the left. Looks a little better on the left. Moses stop for one yard. Well, Gabbert, please don't fucking sell the game. Gonna go weak flood. And hope to God. Don't, don't leave best friend to run block or pass block. I mean, I'm stupid. Uh, just looking for cold iron right over the middle. Let's go. Gabbert actually delivered an accurate pass this time. Maybe he's finally heating up. Who knows? I mean, it does take a minute. It is Ohio. How is he able to make a fucking break on the fucking ball, man? Maybe I should have bulleted it. I usually only bullet pass, it's when Gabbert throws even worse. Put cold iron on a fucking in route. Marshall on a little. little zig. Hip and hammer actually holds on, let's go. It's our fourth straight third down conversion, I think. Get Gabbert able to complete a pass when it is actually meaningful. Except when it's on a fucking, uh... Except when he throws an interception, but regardless. Hey, Gabbert actually doing something on the ground, too. For once. Shocking. Honestly. 10 play, 45 yards. We're, we're just, like, dinking and dunking, but that's, like, all Gabbert has the fucking accuracy for, and Bester gets 0 yards. Fuck. They fucking ate that one alive, man. Alright, let's try weak flood again. They're not covering cold iron. Cold iron barely gets the fucking purse. Let's go. Way to fight, big boy. Let's try a little play action here. Say they buy line with Mosey in the backfield. I doubt it. Probably gonna we read A or Y first. Or, you know, get sacked even though I'm holding the R2. RRT, which is the fucking button to fucking break play action. Fuck. Now, now we're kind of forced to pass. Because I'm pretty sure our kicker is so poverty that he couldn't even fucking hit from here. Davis. Oh my god. Good throw and catch. Holy shit. I don't know what the fucking DB was doing, but he never fucking turned around and it was able to the catch. Good fucking run, beast. Beaster. No longer Besser, it's Beaster. Alright, let's see how this goes on first down. Hold iron, no pick. Straight to Burchette. And this is how Ohio gets their first point, probably. Hopefully defense can like hold him to a field goal, but I doubt it. Yeah. Score practically instantly. Gabbard's just having one of the games of all time. And Hip and Hammer can't come down with an easy catch. Like that that's pretty much NFL open. And just kind of sold. Uh, can I move cold iron to the other side so I have a little bit more blocking? There we go. I cut it back in for. Thought I was gonna get more than three with Bester, but yeah, five for five on third down somehow. Right, gonna have cold iron run a little fucking slant. Have hip and hammer run a little out. Gabbard's just gonna run for the first. Okay, 42. I thought you were already on the fucking ground. How do you. I, I wanna see 42 again, because from what I've seen, that just looked fucking weird. He, 
he he just kind of flies cool full game good game we love 10 year old technology and just set mosey on a little fucking out oh my and that's another interception to burchett he might actually take this all the way he is motherfucker How are, how is he just like breaking on the fucking wall before my receivers do? I know it shouldn't be that that hard to achieve, but I trust a game. Don't tell me Gary's injured. Actually, I don't care. He's already thrown three interceptions. Oh, he got injured. Cool. Smith is in the game. I mean, at least he threw an accurate pass that wasn't intercepted by a corner. And, of course, when we need an accurate pass, he throws it about five yards ahead of the receiver and over him. And a 17-7. Remember when we were winning 7 nothing and driving down the field just to throw an interception? Alright, what's the deal with Gabbard? Right, Davis, you're gonna run out. And hope that between Hip and Hammer and Davis, one of you. This is why I hate fucking back quarterbacks in this game. They fucking throw worse than the fucking starter somehow. 90% of the time. And it's 24 to 7. Well, again, remember when we were up 7 nothing and driving down the field to make a 14 nothing? And then we decided to throw an interception? Oh, we throw another one. This time to Drake. Where's Josh? Fucking hell. Two for six of them yards and an interception. Oh, but we can stop them when they're even closer. But we let them get a long drive. Okay. I, I, I like our defensive plan, you know? And Hip and Hammer can't fucking catch. You know? He couldn't, he couldn't focus on both, even his feet and bounds, and catching the ball. It'd be too much. You know, we were gonna have him open on the fucking corner, too. I just have to get rid of the ball earlier in that situation, though, or get out of the fucking pocket one to two. Marshall, holy shit. I did not expect that to be an accurate pass, nor did I expect that to be called. I did not expect any of that to work. Why well, would Sam? Holy shit. That was not for Cold Iron, but Cold Iron should have still fucking caught that. I fucking. Ah. We make this 24 to 14 before half. I'll feel a lot better than going into half down fucking 24 to 7. Hold on, hold on, thank you. Smith is heating up. Let's not fucking ruin this now. Please. <laughs> Ow, the, the fucking DB, or fucking linebacker, whatever the fuck that was, literally was staring at the fucking quarterback. Oh my god, Smith, where the fuck are you throwing that? Because that ain't towards the fucking receiver. Yorsen, just run a fucking streak. <laughs> Smith, you are fucking poverty. And we missed a field goal. You know what, fuck it, let's just run a fucking four verts. This has a small chance of actually fucking working. Hit hip and hammer. Nope. No. Okay. Fucking sucks. Smith, you suck. You're a fucking poverty ass motherfucker. Get the fuck off this fucking team after this fucking season. You fucking suck. 31 to 7. We've... I mean, it's not like Garrett was playing much better, but Garrett probably hits that pass. To make it 24 to 14 for a half. 
And then that one's fucking underthrown on this big by number fucking eight. This fucking team, man. This fucking quarterback situation is shit. Can't even fucking hit. <sighs> Can't even fucking hit the running back, bro. Alright. I'm over my third string. I I'm bringing in a third string quarterback, bro. I don't care about the speed. The speed means fucking nothing right now. I, I, I just need best fucking growing stats. Smith, I don't, I don't fucking care that you're a fucking freshman red shirt. You suck. So I'm bringing fucking Hessen and Humphreys in as your fucking starting over you and as the backup. Like, oh no, I won't be able to fucking scramble out the fucking pocket. Anchor pass, fucking drop. This fucking team is fucking selling. Like, I, I just give up. We're at fucking midfield, and we're not even probably going to be able to make it out of fucking midfield. Jesus. Literally thrown into the fucking ground, why don't you? J just put fucking best on a fucking streak. Oh, fifth interception to Burkett. Why not? And our fucking backup fucking gets rocked. At the end, just for good measure. Oh, it's only your third pick? I wouldn't know. It feels like he's been literally anywhere I'm trying to throw the fucking ball. Wow, is defense actually coming to fucking play now? Oh man, because this offense is more piss poor right now than the fucking, than the fucking Patriots is. Okay, Hippin. Hippin Hammer. No time you do fucking something instead of other, other than dropping the fucking ball. Which is all you've been fucking doing all day. Anytime we actually need you. Have cold iron straight up the fucking seam. Fucking go. We scored points. It's a miracle. We actually scored points. And they want us to make it 13 to 15, or 31 to 15. Or, my god. What are some of these passes, man? 38 to 13, anyway, don't matter. We're down by 25. Unless we get miracles. I, I, don't, I don't think this team's winning. <laughs> Don't be wrong though, just look at the Central Michigan game. Never mind. Passes like that make me doubt this team. Game pass to fucking 50. Alright, Marshall, please catch. Good fucking dial. This team. I, I'm sorry, guys, but like. There's only so much I have control of. I can't control where the fucking pass goes. Obviously, the interceptions are probably on me. But, like, outside of those, literally, I can't control my quarterbacks. Fucking toss them about 10 yards out, out of fucking bounds or 10 yards, like, past the fucking receiver. Oh my god. It's cover. This might be fucking cover one. Like, I can't control that. But of course, that's probably on me, somehow, magically. So I'm always shocked when a pass actually gets fucking complete, because... This game... The, these fucking quarterbacks on this team are fucking poverty. It's a shock that we're 5-2, man. Oh, and I don't need to fucking switch to try and press Y. Until the end of the fucking play, because this game... And now that I was spamming Y. The game's like, oh, you're trying to call hurry up. The DBs are literally playing better than my fucking receivers. And Marshall having a very on-time drop. <laughs> I 
Like, it's not even like their offense is good. Their defense is just good. Which our defense was. Oh, and we we practically just threw another interception, but he couldn't get his feet in bounds. That's lovely. Honestly, part of me wants to challenge just... Just to see if it would go through, but nah. And offensive line can't fucking block more than two fucking seconds on that fucking play. Thank fucking hell. Now we get the ball right back pretty much in the same fucking spot. See how this fucking works. Oh my god. Mosey wide open touchdown. About to make it a 17 to 18 point game, guys. There's actually still a slim bit of a fucking chance. How? <laughs> okay. Walker. Down to the 30. Actually about down to like the 28 or so. Marshall, you're f fucking wide open in the fucking zone. How do you fucking drop that, you poverty receiver motherfucker? Hold iron. At least he knows how to hold on to the fucking pass. That wasn't even supposed to be. Don't you dare say that's offense pass interference. <laughs> that was not supposed to go to Hip and Hammer, that was supposed to go to fucking the tight end. <laughs> but I don't care. Hip and Hammer actually made a fucking catch. And Cold Iron drops it. Fucking hell. I mean, that's the most excusable drop of them all, because at least he was getting fucking tackled as he dropped it. So we're down by 12. And if we score another touchdown, we have a chance still. Because we still have all our timeouts. Oh my god, Davis. Holy shit. Is there a chance? Like, real, really? Do we have a chance? Oh. Fuck you, Sanders. Like, how, how is this a still a game? Cold Iron? Hold on, baby! Give us time out. Right at the first down, baby. Dave scan, baby. They keep playing this fucking like weak zone fucking coverage that we can just kind of fucking exploit. Marshall. Right at the first down. Or right at the fucking goal line, I mean. Do we not have... Uh, I guess read options, like, closest thing we have to, like, an inside handoff. They played both the fucking quarterback and running back. Fuck no, they crashed into the inside, that's why. And Bester's injured. Fuck. Well, Mosey's probably gonna get the fucking starting job, depending on how long that fucking injury keeps him out for. That, I clicked that way too fast, but I'm glad that it worked out. Bjorsen, hell yeah. This is an eight point game. If we can go down the field in the next minute, we could tie it and send it to overtime. Hold iron. Not really what we need. We need a first down there, but four yards or six yards is six yards. At this point in the game, six yards is six fucking yards. And Bester's back in, by the way. 
Hold on again. Third and inches right at the fucking yard line. Hold iron again, baby. Just feed the guys that are actually wanting to hold on to the fucking ball. That's all you need to do. Say all that you need to do, but... You know, we, we've struggled this whole game. <laughs> and... You know what? I'm not even sure if that would have been called back or not. Got his mar uh, hip and hammer might have stepped out of bounds, and that might have been illegal touching, so I'm not completely. I, I'm still pissed about it, but like. Less so? Kind of. Dorsey, good job getting out of bounds. 25 seconds. Same play again, maybe this time called Bjorsen. Nope, Dorsey again. Not the 21 yards. Keep keep fucking failing that struggling or keep struggling to cover the corner route. We're gonna keep calling fucking corner routes, baby. Yorkson straight up the fucking seam. Nah, they covered it. Dorsey. Knocked down by Johnson. Fuck. At least it wasn't picked. We got to live another down because they didn't try and intercept it. They just swatted it. Dorsey, I'm going to leave you as a fucking decoy. Dorsey, actually. Let's go, Dorsey. We have come all the way back. Now it all comes out to this. Virgil, stop at the fuck. That's game. That's fucking game. That's fucking game. Oh, that is painful. That is fucking painful. That, oh my fucking god. I, I have no fucking words for that. <laughs> that actually fucking hurts. Like, deeply. That. I, th I thought he was gonna fucking get across. Did, did I have anything else open, though? Not really. Eh, I guess I had fucking, uh... 14 open. I... I was just kind of, like, really worried. That it would all just be congested. And I really thought Virtual had a fucking chance. Oh, that hurts. That, that hurts. That's just a fucking good fucking play by 32. Yeah, I probably should have gone to 14, but like... Oh, that is... That hurts. Anyways, if you enjoyed that thriller of a fucking game that goes down to the fucking wire, hit that like button, subscribe if you are, if you are, not, if you are new. Mike Dallas here saying peace, you have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.